President Abdel Fattah Hassis received Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, who started an official two-day visit to Cairo. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassem Radi said that the summit talks are due to tackle ways of boosting bilateral ties in various domains, as well as discussing a number of regional and international files of mutual concern. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi met with the General Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of Defense and Military Production, Mohammed Zaki. The remarks were made by Presidency Spokesman Ambassador Bassam Radi as per the periodic meetings between the President, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and the General Commander of the Army. Upon an invitation by the Chinese President Xi Jinping, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi addressed through the video conference the high-level meeting of the BRICS Plus Group, which was presided over by the Chinese leader. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said that the BRICS is of the most prominent economic groups as it includes Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, as Egypt also participated in its previous summit, which was hosted in 2017. In his speech, the President greeted the attendees and hailed the Global Development Initiative launched by China, aiming at focusing on the development causes through boosting international cooperation. The head of state also expressed the Egyptian happiness to join the new development bank, which will play a positive role in enhancing cooperation between the BRICS and the developing countries. The President highlighted the importance of realizing the development goals coinciding with facing traditional and untraditional challenges, on top of which is fighting terrorism and the climate change. President Assisi asserted the Egyptian keenness on boosting mutual cooperation with the BRICS member states and benefit from their experience in all domains that are relating to achieving sustainable developments to meet the aspirations of our peoples. Marking the World's Public Service Day, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi greeted the employees of the state's administrative bodies. The President's remarks came in an editorial of the Administrative Development magazine supplement issued by the Central Agency for Organization and Administration. President ACC said that uh, this day is a reminder of the work's humanitarian and ethical values and the love of the homeland, which are the base of the public service. The President added that the path of the administrative reform is still unfinished, despite what has been achieved over the past eight years, hoping that the administrative bodies increase the contribution to the country's development pursuit coping with the status of Egypt. The head of state emphasized that the relocation of the administrative bodies to the new administrative capital marks a new phase for them while building a new republic in which the values of justice, governance and equal opportunities prevail. President Assisi hailed the efforts of the administrative workers and renewed the call for the citizens to exert more efforts to preserve the development that has been achieved. The first batch of the Egyptian pilgrims traveled to Saudi Arabia to perform the Hajj. Eight flights took off boarding pilgrims to El Medina and Munawara and Jeddah. The Assistant Interior Minister for the Administrative Affairs and the head of the Hajj mission reiterated raising preparedness providing the best services and overcoming any obstacles are the main goals so that the pilgrims can perform the ritual smoothly. The General Command of the Armed Forces mourned the death of Sheikh Hassan Ali Khalif, one of Sinai's prominent tribes chiefs, who died at the age of 72. The late veteran tribal chief played a leading role during the glorious October War. The armed forces paid condolences to his tribe, hailing his prominent patriotic efforts serving the nation.